Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading A Little Spot of Celebration, a story about celebrating birthdays, holidays, goals, and milestones. Written and illustrated by Diane Albert. Hi, I'm Celebration Spot, and it's time to celebrate! <laughs> You're late. My birthday was last week. What are we celebrating? Just because your birthday was last week doesn't mean we can't celebrate now. I love to celebrate important events. And the day you were born is special. Happy birthday. Here, I got this cake for you. Celebrating can make someone feel loved, confident, and happy. Those are great feelings. Are there other events we can celebrate? Absolutely. In fact, a lot of holidays were created to celebrate important events. Can you guess these holidays? What events are they celebrating? You can celebrate lots of things. Like Pizza Day, Donut Day, Scribble Day, and so much more. Pizza Day is February 9th. Unicorn Day, April 9th. Scribble Day, March 27th. Teacher Appreciation Day, first week of May. Crayon Day, March 31st. Dot Day, September 15th. Donut Day, first Friday of June. Probably one of my favorite things to celebrate is a milestone. Milestones help you become the best person you can be. Milestones are important events in your life that lead you towards your goals. Like first job, graduation, award. What is a goal? Goals are something you want to do, something you want to be, or something you want to have. They usually aren't easy to achieve. You'll have to work hard for them. Once you set a goal, you can set milestones to let you know you are getting closer to your goal. Setting and achieving goals motivates you to problem solve and work hard, which helps you grow your confidence and happiness spots. How do you set goals and milestones? First, you have to think of something you want to do have or be. Now remember, it can't be too easy. It has to be something you work for. I want to be a superhero. I want to have a pet unicorn. Those goals might be a little too hard. Let's try again. Okay, how about, I want to have a pet sloth? Oh yay, can I have a pet sloth too? I can see you could use a little help. So I came up with this acronym to set goals. I call it RAD Goals. R is for realistic. Can you really make this goal happen? Is it achievable? It shouldn't be too easy or too hard. A is for action plan. What do you need to achieve your goal? How long will it take you? D is for details. List milestones that can help you track your progress. How will you celebrate when you achieve your goal? Now that you have a rad goal, write it down. This will help you achieve your goal. Writing down your goal helps you remember it better and you have something to look at. You can also create a vision board. Draw images that reflect your goals. Hang it up somewhere where you can see it so you can visualize your goals. Now it's time to figure out how you will celebrate a milestone or goal. The size of your celebration should be based on how hard your milestone or goal is. For example, a milestone of reading five books in a month might deserve a celebration bookmark, while a goal of reading 60 books in a year might deserve a celebration pizza party. 
or a milestone like riding your bike without training wheels might deserve a celebration dance. And a goal of riding your bike in a race might deserve a celebration ice cream. We can celebrate other people's accomplishments and goals too. This helps everyone stay motivated. We can give a celebration sticker for working hard at school. We can cheer or congratulate with positive words after a sports game. We can give a high five after a job well done. We can give a round of applause or standing ovation after a performance. You're amazing. Great job. Way to go. So you see, take every opportunity you can to celebrate in life. We could all use a reason to grow our happy, love, and confidence spots a little more. I'm going to set a goal today. I am too. Great. I can't wait for you both to hit your goals so we can celebrate. <laughs> Beyond the book fun. Be sure to check out Diane's website for some printables to go along with the story. Visit www dianealber.com. Also, check out the celebration song on her YouTube channel. I'll post the link in the description. So what are you going to celebrate today? Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn, reading A Little Spot of Celebration. <laughs>